Hi, and welcome to my next video in the series Racism 101. This is about how. So we've le learned on the why of slavery, racism and uh, colonization in the last video. Uh, now we want to talk about the how. So during colonization, the European settlers were going around the globe and finding land. On the land that they found were indigenous people because of their technologically advanced weapons, they could easily fight and win against those people and force them out of their way. They chose to murder, enslave, rape and torture them instead of finding a more peaceful solution. They decided to steal the land and to not adjust and assimilate to what they found. I say this for a reason that will become apparent later. Now, in possession of fertile land, they began the project of kidnapping and enslaving people from Africa and bringing them to America. They needed a workforce, an enslaved workforce, because this was the most economic, economical way of getting the most out of the new land. Uh, when they took those people from all over Africa, many died on the way to the coast, uh, many more uh, died while they were held and while they were uh, waiting for the ship and during the travel itself. In the ship those people were stacked on top of each other, living, dying, menstruating, defecating, urinating in the same close quarters for weeks. Did you survive that? Congratulations! We will now separate you from your family, your children, your partner, the people you know and sell you. On that plantation you will be raped. Your children from that rape will be enslaved. They might be sold right in front of your eyes and you won't see them again, ever. Maybe your mas master wants you to produce free slaves for him to keep and sell as he wishes. So he will force another slave to rape you, to produce more. And you have to work endless hours on the plantation. While the owner sips a cool lemonade, he will call you lazy. So if you think about all these racist slurs, do you start to recognize them in the history? Dirty, dumb, lazy, fatherless, brute, wild, uncivilized, promiscuous rapist. They were forced to go through all of that by the colonizers and then were blamed for it. And their descendants are still blamed for it now, today. They had to watch their wives, sisters, daughters, mothers be raped and were called rapists themselves. They were denied cleanliness and called dirty. They were separated from their families and were called fatherless. They were tortured, beaten, forced to fight each other for their master's amusement and called brute and wild for it. They were raped and they were called promiscuous. Some of those women were raped at such a young age and had to give birth that they became incontinent. This wasn't stopping them from working on a farm, but it wasn't so nice to rape them anymore. And um, if they had to urinate on themselves involuntarily, so their masters gave them to doctors to use as guinea pigs and to fix them on up again to produce more slaves. James Marion Sims, called the father of gynecology, experimented on black women, operating on them without anesthesia, as he believed that black people feel less pain than white people. Our long screams of pain couldn't convince him otherwise. He also experimented on black children, killing many healthy black children in his attempt to heal them of their low intelligence. To the, do this, he would use an, inst an instrument to effectively break their skulls. All of his little patients died. One of the statues honoring him in Central Park, New York, was removed January 2018. So what did the colonizers do to be able to act this way? and still be part of society. To be married, to have children and 
perfectly pleasant neighbors and church-going uh, citizens. They invented these characteristics for black people that made it okay to treat them this way. We've touched on a few of them now, being dumb and promiscuous, uh, feeling less pain than white people. These things still play a role in society today. So, for example, even doctors will did, I don't know if it's still today, but in the past, uh, still had that idea that black people would feel less pain. They take black people less seriously when they talk about their pain. And that can have deadly consequences. The people who are oppressed are called lazy, dumb, childlike, passionate, wild, uncivilized, dirty, sexual, criminal, unreligious, and uncontrolled. I want you to think about these adjectives. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine what you see when I say these words. Lazy, dumb, childlike, passionate, wild, uncivilized, dirty, sexual, criminal, unreligious, uncontrolled. And now I want you to imagine someone who is the opposite to that cultured, civilized, intelligent, clean, controlled, hardworking, pious, married. Now I don't want you to feel guilty. Really it does not serve any purpose. Try to ignore it if you do feel it because it is important to stay open and stay focused. These same attributes had been used to describe Muslims, Irish, Catholic, Jews, Arabs, Asians, and also Native Americans and black people and natives of other countries. We ascribe these people to different races and religions today and then as well, but these attributes were used to dehumanize all of them at some point in history. Do you see how this is structural? When you think about swear words that describe minorities, or you imagine a full-blown racist, like swearing and spitting, you will come up with these same insults. Dirty, dumb, denigrated, uncivilized, backwards, rapist, pedophile, incestuous. All of these things go back to the same structure. No one insults another person by saying tax evader. Um, we give them those attributes because that hurts the most. It dehumanizes people. They are not worth your value or sympathy because they are lower, they are less than human. So we've established that white people are civilized and black people are uncivilized. The story goes that they are passionate childlike creatures that have to be saved, civilized and baptized by the white man. This is called the white man's burden that they gained a huge amount of profit out of this. It's just a side effect, of course. And the N-word summarizes all of these things into one slur. And that is the reason you are not supposed to use it in any case, whatever happens, no exceptions. If you're not black, don't use it. I don't use it. I hope no one I know uses it. I want you to remember these attributes. Whenever you hear another person saying any of that in any shape or form, I want you to debunk it. You know better now. You only need to do better now. If you are looking for those people who inspired me and where I got my education from, look at the description box below because I didn't get it at school. So Dr. Joy DeGru explains very eloquently and engagingly about black history and its effect till today. Dr. Robin D'Angelo explains white fragility and what white people can do to be better allies, to understand racism and understand how it all affects all of us today. She explains why you feel defensive, why you feel guilt and you have what you have to do to overcome it. I have also linked the blue eye brown eye experiment by Jane Elliott, which opened my eyes to, sh to um, how strong these structures are and how quickly pe people pick them up, even children. Um, and if you're searching for books, I would highly suggest you read 
guns, germs and steel, Bajara Diamond, he explains very, very well um, how our different cultures developed and what is the reason for the different developments. And spoiler, it, le it has nothing to do with the size of your skull. I have noted only one book because the ladies that I mentioned before have written great books themselves and in their lectures they mention amazing other books too. So if you watch them, and I really, really hope you do, use a notepad and write them up. In the next video we will talk about uh, what racism steals from white people. I have also put a link um, that talks more about um, the father of gynecology. So you can also see where the other two um, statues are that are still standing of him. And uh, just learn generally more about the history. So see you in the next video.